All right, oh, well, something like that, yeah. All right, take care now. I'm Ray. Hey, man, how are you, buddy? I live in a big old house in a beautiful city. I've been told that the way houses are growing in San Francisco, I can get more than $2 million for this house. The problem is, it's full of stuff. This is a three-story house. Every level of this house is cluttered. I live in this house with my younger brother. My brother has not contributed. I am the sole person responsible for this collecting. What's going on, man? What, what, what's happening? My name is Tony, and I'm Ray's brother. I've lived in the house over 50 years. If I describe the house right now, I say it's in bad, bad shape. I'm Allison, and I'm Ray and Tony's neighbor. I witnessed Ray picking up broken furniture, old vacuum cleaners, just anything that he sees on the street that's very unhealthy. There was a small kitchen fire. Part of the wall where the uh, refrigerator was attached and plugged into caught fire. It was due to a faulty plug to the refrigerator that he had picked up off the street. Because of the dynamics of how houses are in San Francisco, we share walls. Fires just spread quickly. After the fire, I became very concerned for my safety because he could have burned down the neighborhood. When the fire people came to the house, they saw all the stuff that was there, and we were ordered to clean it up. I have received violation notices, and I actually attended a hearing from the San Francisco Housing Authority. If I don't clean it out, I, I have a fear that I will become homeless. My brother and I have lived together for the majority of our lives. I'm sure my brother's concerns are similar to mine, of being homeless. But I think we would stay together. I hate to say it this way, but be homeless together. <laughs> We're back at R Ray and Tony's home after receiving some heartbreaking news. And just to let the family know, yeah, Tony passed away. Last night, Ray lost his brother. We're all still struggling to kind of process this. Very good to meet you. I'm really sorry for your loss. My name is Matt Paxton, and I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. I, I don't even know what to say. These are extraordinary circumstances, and our first instinct was just to wrap it up and leave. I just want to really triple verify that you actually want us to go in and clean this house with you. I really want this in honor of the loss of my brother, and I really need to do this to get within city codes. This is really tough. On one hand, you want to pause and respect the man that just died, but also, we have two days to save this house, or Ray also loses his home. We would not normally advise cleaning up right after a loss like this, but these are very special circumstances. Yes. I'm going to rely on Dr. T a lot to kind of tell us when we need to pause and when we don't. We want to get your house clean, but we're still worried about you. The loss of the house and the loss of his brother is just too many things to grieve. I think if we can prevent the loss of his home, He'll have some psychological space to actually mourn. I really want to do this. Ray is absolutely firm and resolute that he wants to move ahead with the clean out. We'll all be here to support you, and we're going to move this ahead as much as you can tolerate. OK, and thank you both very, very much. We'll be watching the situation very closely, but I think it will be OK, because while Ray had no control over the death of his brother, he does have a way to prevent the loss of his home. This okay. is totally different than we're used to, yep. but I think it, it's a good plan, and we're just going to get started. I'm going to go get my crew, and we'll meet you inside. Tony was, was Ray's best friend as well as his brother. He just lost everything last night. And now if we don't hustle, well, he loses his home. I've never had a job more important than this. Ray's going to have an awful lot to do just putting his brother to rest properly. We're also putting together a world-class supporting cleanup. 
Our plan for this cleanup is to go as slow as Ray needs. You see anything? No, so far. Go for it. Ray is a people pleaser. The rest can go. Ray lost his brother last night. And he's still trying to please us. I, let it go. Go for it. Please, All take, right. it. take it, please. When we are cleaning out the kitchen, we are finding holes in the subfloor. Going right through. In the back of the house, you can actually see where the walls are parting away from the floor. Seams of the house are separating and bottles are falling out. I think the goal was to do the, this top floor and then the floor below us. I'm finding that it's going to take me a lot longer to clear the floor because I have to keep us focused on the safety. We may only have time to do the top floor, but that's what the city is most concerned about. We're going to lobby for some extra time to do the next two floors, but we've got to show good faith and get this top floor done. Everybody's pitched in from the camera crew to my crew. We've done everything we can to get this house ready. I want to bring Ray in now to see his new space in this home. Kidding me? What are you looking at? This. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. You're talking about surprise, surprise, surprise. Wow, guys. We got a new fridge, new microwave. Oh, man. Wow. We got a little bed for you, OK? Wow. We started off pretty bleak. The house was overwhelming, and then we lost Ray's brother. But here's the deal. We have not fixed this entire house. We've done a good start. We had a very emotional situation, but we also had a very dangerous house. We had biohazard, we had rats. We were only able to empty the contents out of the top floor. We've gotten you things to make you comfortable while you're here. As you start to sort through things, you start to make some plans, you're gonna be working with Josh. In regards to the city and all the work that we've accomplished here, I'm sure we can get an extension on your time to continue the work on the house that's needed. Tony would be amazed, Tony would be happy He'd give the yippee ti yay woo hoo louder and more joyously than I. Yes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. No, it's thank you. Those are tears of joy. Thank you. While Ray's home is safer, Ray is not completely safe. But the loss of this house and the loss of this community would be devastating for Ray. So I think it's really important for him to stay here. For me to feel comfortable leaving, I really want to hear from you. What are you going to use in the way of a toilet until Josh's plan to restore the plumbing happens? My neighbors next door have extended me the privilege of using their facilities. I Wonderful, will be doing Ray. That. Wonderful. I'm OK leaving Ray here, because he's going to be fine. He's in the neighborhood he needs to be in. And people loved him and his brother, and they're going to do anything to help him forever. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.